I am born on this earth out of the five elements. My home is the sky, the earth, water and fire. In my veins there is hot blood which is frozen for centuries. I am the silent witness. They think I am divine. Swami Malai is my hometown. With the temple as its hill, it is situated on the shores of the Kaveri River in Tanjavur district in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is the fourth of the six sacred abodes of Lord Subramanya. It is believed that once the Lord Shiva forgot the Pranava Mantra as a result of a curse laid on him by Brigumuni. And it is here that Lord Subramanya taught the secret of the mantra to his father when he whispers the Om into his ears. Ever since, he has been known as Lord Swaminatha. It is a small place where all the activities are concentrated around the Swaminatha Swami temple. Along with agriculture, the place thrives on its arts, craft and culture. Swami Malai is one of the major centers for the making of the Panchalohan bronze in India. Generations have dedicated themselves to this craft using both solid and hollow type of casting, practicing the lost wax process. And families consider it a matter of pride to be involved in this way. I was born in Sri Darshini. Sri Darshini was born when Surya Narayanam chose to carve his own path and open a craft shop. Though traditionally his family had nothing to do with this trade, a group of craftsmen came together to breathe life into me and many others like me. A mixture of raisin from the trees and honey beeswax, usually from Kerala, oil, fire and water miraculously transform into every part of my body. Suresh crafts my proportions in consonance with the Navathala. I am then scraped, polished with hot wax stick and decorated so as to make me perfect and carry forward the Chola bronze tradition. Swami Malai is the main center of bronze making, being strategically positioned at the confluence of history, geography and culture. Only here, in a one kilometer radius around the river Kaveri, is available the Vandal mud, the unique super fine clay which is malleable for preparing the mold. The clay is hand-picked 
the big particles sieved out and then used raw on the clay model without adding anything else. Two layers of clay are applied. The first is a fine layer of Vandal mud that takes my shape perfectly, retaining all the details lovingly carved into my body. A second protective layer of rough clay is then applied from the backyard itself. I am then left to bask in the warm sunshine to dry. Agni then comes to add his little mite, heating the mold in which I reside using cow dung. As my essence in the form of wax runs out of the specially provided outlet, I remain a shape that can be molded by other hands. This wax form is then weighed and added to the exact measure of metal. One kilogram of wax will consume 10 kilograms of molded bronze. Simultaneously, the pancha uloha, the five metals, are heated in various proportions. I am therefore made up of 27 parts. 20 parts of copper, 6 parts of brass, 1 part lead and a tinge of silver and gold. Now Agni brings his full might melting me at 1800 to 2000 degrees centigrade using coal. The mold is baked to remove all the air as otherwise the mold may explode during the casting. Then as molten bronze, I am poured inside the mold and kept aside for a few days to cool down. I am still only a rough shape. I am then removed after my outer shell is broken. My face, features and limbs are then shaped by chiseling and foiling. All this while, I sleep and allow them to bring me to completeness. And then the auspicious day of my eye-opening is fixed. And as I behold my creators, they behold me in my full glory. Devasya 
They say, I am the earth and the sky. I am the birth and the death. I am the day and the night. I am the male and the female. I am Ardhanarishwara. Humans brought me into life investing life in me with their faith. They opened my eyes, kept me high on the pedestal where they worshipped me. But they do not know that I am just a link and the God is out there and is everywhere, even inside of you and me.